everybody, it's Debbie. Welcome to Your Home, Your Happy Place. And I'm so glad you're joining me today. I have emptied the kitchen, almost, so that we have a nice clean slate, so I could clean, by the way, which I've already done. And I'm excited to do my fall decor in here. It is simple, fresh for me, a totally different palette. And um, if you saw my last video, um, I'll be using a lot of the things from the haul. And uh, speaking of that video, thank you for um, the comments on the roast. Uh, I promise you'll love it. And also, you guys, I just really thank you so much. When I have to take migraine medicine, I hate to have to schedule a video that day because it just slows me down. It takes away a lot of my expression. It's it's just, and I, I, I felt so bad having to publish it that way, but I needed to get the video done and I'd had three migraine days in a row, which sometimes happens. It's a whole long story that I'm not getting into today. So um, let's decorate for fall. I think I'm gonna do the perimeter first and then we'll just do the islands. I don't have much going on my islands. I probably won't be doing the uppers today because first of all, I don't have what I, I need for up there and I think the video might get too long. So um, here we go. Okay, I'm changing things up a little bit. I usually have um, some outdoor plates or paper plates right here and I don't even know if I'm going to do that right now um, but I uh, I had that teapot that I got which I'll show you again so cute I found a similar one on um, Amazon that I linked in last time's video so uh, anyway I I had an idea of putting it on a tray, but I really, I'm out of trays right now. And I had made myself, I don't know, I've had this, this is something I picked up at TJ Maxx or Home Goods. You know, you can get some pretty little dishes. And I made myself a little set of uh, pork rind and um, pulled chicken nachos on this. It was a great serving dish and it was out and I cleaned it and I thought, you know what? That's just the size I need. So here we go. I'm gonna do this at a little angle. I'm gonna put the teapot on. It's so cute. Let me get you closer. And when I got the uh, mug tree out, um, I had a one mug left over from my Hall, and so I just thought I'm gonna put that there. It's perfect for tea. And then last, just random things in my bins were. I think I have some more of these, but they're they're pretty. And I just liked the dark green. I want to bring that dark green color. And then this color kind of complements uh, the brown in here. So just gonna toss that in there. That's good enough. I like that. It just brings a nice little spot. I can think about having a cup of tea there. As we make our way down the perimeter of my kitchen, I'm gonna bring in a ceramic pumpkin stack. Now, I did say decorating your kitchen without pumpkins almost. So you are gonna see, obviously you already know if you watched my other video, that I have a nice little nod to some pumpkins in my coffee bar. But when I was unpacking, I found this, which says thankful, grateful, blessed. I don't want to look at that. I just want this part. So I, I need a little something here. 
And that's that. I mean, it's this is really simple decorating, but I don't, as big as my kitchen is, if I have too much stuff in, it, it will be a cluttered mess. So I am gonna do the coffee bar. Okay, now I'm shaking things up a bit here. I've never done the coffee bar. Since I moved in, I've always had the coffee bar set up over in that corner. And my mug tree has to be out from under and because it's just a tad too tall. And I don't know, as I kept fiddling with things at the kitchen sink and that, it was just looking too cluttered. So I thought, let me just try it a different spot. I mean, there's several places it would work. So I'm popping it in here. Not new. This is a very heavy piece of marble. It's a marble tray that I picked up at TJ Maxx last year for $19.99. I mean, it is gorgeous. And it looks great with my backsplash. My French press is going right in the center. You guys, I may have to have some coffee. I love, who doesn't love to smell a coffee? I don't know, I've never heard that. Oh, you know this is my favorite. I The best I can do is put the website below because you can't get this on Amazon. Um, this is a company from my hometown called Dubuque, and um, my most favorite is their brasserie, but they also have a pumpkin pie. So I am going to use these two airtight decanters. I've already got a bag. The other day I had company and I wanted to have a bag ready to go. Um, so I'm not gonna leave that in there because I'm gonna put coffee in there. That's an idea though. Hmm, that would be a great idea. I'm wondering if I should just put several bags of it in there. No. This is the bottom of a butter dish, and I do have the top, but somebody asked for it Memorial Day weekend, and somehow, like, we had all the tops off on the dining table, and when it got washed, somehow it ended up on my coffee tray, and I only have one of these out right now, but I usually have several of the little bags that I put the coffee in, and so it ended up, maybe they had the spoons on it, I don't know but it all worked out. So it kind of fits. And I don't need a butter dish all the time. I have a lot anyway. So I'm gonna leave my gauze bags for the coffee there. And then I'm gonna put my little um, stirrers on it. And last, I'm gonna have, um, I don't know what this is, the 
bad news is I didn't label it. Mm. It smells good, whatever it is. <laughs> if I tasted it, I might know, but I don't put a lot of sweet stuff in my coffee. I have a lot of bottles, it's all sugar-free. I've got French toast and white chocolate mocha and all kinds of things, so. I don't know what this one is, could just be a hazelnut, but I think it's got some nutty smell in it more than a hazelnut. Um, and I have the fancier ones that are gold and you pump them, but I use those for other things. I kind of like this for the coffee. So it's a very simple coffee bar. I use fresh cream, so that can't be out. And I do have a um, frother, but uh, it's upstairs. And I have one here, it's blue, but I'm gonna go get the white and gold one and add it to the tray. But that's it, so, so far, this is the kitchen. And I'm really happy with it. It's, it's spaced out, it's not too cluttered, it's definitely stations. And we're gonna go this way. Yeah, I have soapy water in there. I have to wash something in a minute. So, oh yeah, we'll be doing the sink next. Okay. I forgot to add my hot water kettle. So um, I'm just really fortunate. We have zero plugs in this kitchen except at the island, and I'm not really sure why we did it that way, but over here, all the plugs are up underneath the cabinet, so I don't have to even hide them. had the same basket for my towels out at my sink since spring so I wanted to change it again and because I started in the family room with some darker colors in the garland and the pillows and that I'm enjoying adding a little contrast in here um, which is why I love the pop of color that's coming out from the teapot over there so um, I went with a, just a little basket tray that I had in the basement um, holding other things and um, I love the color of it and it's a good size so I can put a lot of things in there. I haven't purchased a single kitchen towel for um, this fall. I wish I had some you know, darker green and maybe some golden, but so far most of everything I've seen has been, I don't know, too kitschy for me and stuff, but I had this color, so I'm gonna leave, I've got a, about three of these towels. And then I like to put a decorative one out, and I was gonna put our signature one that um, a friend gave me, but um, just wanted a little bit more kick to, towards fall. So I did have this one. And again, subtle pumpkin. I'm not putting a lot of pumpkins in there, um, but here we go. And last, um, I'm using this little, I forget, it was a creme brulee. I've used it once before as a riser. I can't throw something like that away. I mean, you could make candles. I, I don't know, you could put pokery in it. You could reuse it for dessert. I can't throw something like that away. It's too, it's cute even. But this will be the second time I've used it as a little riser. And it's just for my little dove. I. We put something more fall in there, but I love doves and right now I can still hear them cooing outside, so I'm popping that in. Okay, 
Okay, on this side, I'm going to put my soap and a little floral. I decided to use a riser. I may have had this one out at the kitchen before. I love it. Again, it's marble. I love using marble in this kitchen. Um, I'm just going to set that there. And then my soap. Trust me, I had tons of pumpkin soap, but the colors in this were perfect. We've got the dark green and the gold, and oh, there's even some cranberry on the sides. I just love it, and it's called Golden Pear. I got it at TJ Maxx, and you know, a year or two ago, who knows, it was $5.99. You can kind of tell how old things are by the price, because they go up every year. And I told you guys we were in Eureka Springs um, a few weeks ago, and I walked into this artist um, store, and her artwork just made me happy. And so um, I couldn't afford much, but I bought a little block. And I just wanted you to see how pretty it is. So it is happy, and it says, keep on the sunny side of life, be happy. And then on the back, she's um, signed it. And the name of her company is Wilson and Wilson Folk Art, which is her and her mom. So this was the cutest place I could see to put it. Now, because my Tablescape was multiplying with sunflowers um, and I had to remove the vases. I'm incorporating them in the kitchen and it really, it's really pulling it all together so beautifully. It makes me so happy. So these, you can get them at Home Goods right now. Um, $16.99, you can get them at TJ Maxx. I do link some, but they're not exactly like this. Um, but if you don't have those stores by or you would prefer to just order online, I will have links. I keep forgetting things. I'm going to my table where everything's laid out and I'm like, oh, coffee mugs. <laughs> I forgot to put them out. So here's my coffee tree. One of my viewers said they were able to find it at a Dillard's. I've had it for years. It is, I'm pretty sure it's a mud pie. But when I go to a mudpie.com or look them up on Amazon, I can never find it. I just love this one. I'd love to have had another one um, for my other house. But anyway, it holds what? Two, four, six. So I'm going to start with my sunflowers. These cups are from the set that I got on Amazon. It's got my plates and um, I guess just plates. Oh, it's got my plates and my bowls. Um, but I was able to find these on their own. So if you're looking for a set of four mugs like this, I mean, they're so beautiful. Um, they will be linked below. And the dishes, if you want the whole dish set, it is linked. It's linked in my Amazon store front in the fall home decor section. And it's also linked in my tablescape video.
here is this side of the kitchen. Um, it is a lot. Um, so there's gonna be a real nice clean break down there in the corner. And then we're gonna go onto the range hood. Um, do I need that in the center? Maybe not. I haven't tried it without it, but I like that it's just a dab of yellow, a dab of yellow, um, and then none, and then we have another dab of yellow, and you're gonna see that around the whole kitchen. So let's uh, work on the side, either side of the range now. I'm starting with some things I keep out all the time. So these are salt and pepper with the little spoons. They've got a honeycomb on them. And oh, they got a little bee on the top, but all very subtle. Those were from TJ Maxx last year. As was this, another marble piece here. So heavy. Um, it's a huge pedestal and I just think, uh, really, it's so gorgeous. Look at that. Ooh. Maybe bought at the same time. Looks like the same marble. Salt and pepper shakers, which again, was, this was all TJ Maxx last year. Maybe I've had these, I don't know. Um, I probably last year used a little, um, I don't know, you can buy these little wiry things and they have some little uh, berries and leaves on them, maybe had some little pumpkins, and I do have that. And maybe when we get a little closer to Thanksgiving, I might do that, but um, this was just perfect. I wanted something very, you know, just, I actually could go back also and use the olive wreath that I had, which has a darker green on it, but there's no pumpkins. Not that I want the pumpkins, so. I don't know, I could go back to that, but the problem is I had that since spring and I'm, I'm just bored with it. So I'm gonna use this, which looks like lamb's ear. And just, I just set it over this. And there we go, all sweet and cozy. Now we're gonna add a little color. My other one, I've played with this on both sides. I played with it in the middle, on the islands. Um, I think right now this is where it's gonna stay. Okay, I am keeping my cookbook where it was. So here's my cookbook stand. I will have it linked below. I did buy it at Amazon. It was not inexpensive. It cannot be changed as far as that goes. But what I love about it, it has a nice, a nice wide spot for the book to be open. And then it has the weights at the same time. Plus it has feet and it's not just sitting on the bottom. I really think it's pretty. I have some breakfast items, but the next uh, dip that I wanna make, I think it was considered a dip, uh, was out of my Southern Entertainers cookbook, which I'll also link below. And let me open it up. My brother is coming to visit next month. And I just thought, ooh, that, well, there's so many good looking things in here, so many. This is baked cheesy corn dip. And it looks really good. So I'm gonna have it open to that. A 
as I was just putting things away and things out in the basement, I saw a picture downstairs and I thought, you know what, I think I would like to try that for my utensil holder for fall. And it's so pretty. Um, I love the color. It's very keeping with the same color as the sunflowers. I'm not sure you can make this out, but it's a yellow pig. So at our cottage, I have a pig that's about this big, maybe that big, that's this exact same color. So I'm gonna bring him back with me and we have this really big blue pig here and I'm doing blues at the cottage. So I'm gonna swap out the pig. So he won't be here right now, but here we go. Now, the last utensils I had in here were pink. So the pink is put away <laughs> until maybe Christmas, I don't know. But I'm gonna unbox a couple things and wash them and see what you think. Okay, the first set I bought were teak. And it comes boxed like this. I don't remember how many were in the set, but I'll have them linked below. I wanted the teak because of the darker wood. It's just a, a really nice quality wood. So I'm gonna open these up and pop them in here. Okay, it's a 10 piece set. I'm not sure what the names of all of them are. There you go. There's some little hollowed out spoons. Pretty thick spatula. And then a much thinner one. Just toss them in the sink so they can be washed. Um, another spoon. A very small ladle. Another type of spoon. What do you call that? Like a spork? <laughs> sort of. I don't know what to call these. Here. That's it. And the other thing I got was exactly what I had before in pink, only I got it in white. I think it was also available, I mean, it's available in a lot of colors. Um, I was wondering, should I go cream or white? And I decided, you know, there's just so much white in here. I'm just gonna stick with the white. That way, if I wanna use this in the spring or summer instead of pink, uh, it's gonna work. And I won't feel like I have to get another pair, another set. This one comes with more things that I even need. A little measuring set, spatula, measuring cups, egg separator, ladle, Call this a spaghetti scooper. Uh, spatula, slotted spoon, whisk, tongs, a tree spatula, a miniature spatula. brush or basting or whatever and then it also comes with a cup which I usually just stick this inside I don't know if it'll fit in that it might I sit it inside whatever container I'm using and it just keeps them a little closer but because I have so many other things I don't know how that's gonna work why am I doing both um, huge reason is the silicone can handle any heat this is amazing and they don't melt they don't discolor with like spaghetti sauce or something and um 
I just, when I'm, I like my eggs over easy, it doesn't break my yolks. Um, I'm just, I really do love these and they're very reasonably priced. So I could get them in any color I need for any season. I think they're under $20. So, all right, I'm gonna toss these in the sink and wash everything up. I washed on camera, but not really. I have a tendency sometimes to not record <laughs> when I'm doing stuff. <laughs> Sorry about that. Not that you needed to watch me wash, but I was gonna have relaxing music on. You know, this, you know how it goes. I think I'm just gonna start with the wood in, in there because I think it'll be the prettiest look. Really, I can tell you right now, the quality of these is very, very nice. It's got a name on it, but it's probably whatever, you know, when I link it, you'll probably see the name anyway. Bacalaca, Bacalaca. Over here is another pumpkin, um, cream colored, really pretty scroll work on it. It is microwave safe, so uh, I suppose it could be used for, you know, any kind of, I, since it wasn't with a whole set of stuff, I wouldn't think it's for soup, but you could if you were just one person. Um, but I thought it would be a great way to serve dips if you were having, you know, people over or for yourself, whatever. Um, I also, I'm gonna set it here. Um, most of the time I make my bacon, oh, all the time. I make my bacon in the oven. So um, I don't get as much bacon grease, but I used to keep a, a bacon grease thing on the stove. So we'll see because um, I like to reuse the fat that we get. So we'll see if I can use it for that, but I'm gonna use it for something. Okay, it's, I like to get a perspective from a little further back so that you can just see the pops of yellow in there. Um, would it look better without that picture? Let me see. First, we'll just do a close up over here. Can't wait to bring that pig back. That pig's got to make its way over here somewhere, for sure. And here we are without that, as I back away. Okay, this island is a, a prep island with the sink. Um, we also use it to serve a lot of times because people can go all the way around it and it's all low. So all I'm gonna put on here is my exquisite, <laughs> albeit expensive, measuring set that I got at Paula Deen's. restaurant, family restaurant in Branson. Um, and I think I found one very similar to it at around the same price um, on Amazon um, when I linked it when I first got it. So I will look for that and link it below if you're interested. I mean, it's an investment, but I use it all the time. I mean, for the coffee, every single day that I have coffee. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do, since we're in this position, I'm gonna go ahead and put my wreath up on the hood. So 
So I fluffed it out and my previous video I had contemplated putting three sunflowers on it. It just really cheapened it. The contrast was just too stark. Um, so I'm just going to hang that on the hood. Okay, this is the biggest display that I was talking about. I am gonna do this one today. The other ones will come on another day. Um, I went ahead and left some of my props up there. That um, picnic basket is way too heavy for me to just take down and put back up. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a few things. So, using the magnolia leaves, I'm going to go across as a garland on the top. And I am I am putting back this picture for now at least that I bought um, I think in my spring haul and I had it up there for spring and then I changed it out for summer and added more coastal things. And then lastly, I found a place for my stems so that's all that's going to go up there right now and i really think it looks good but i did order a customized sign for fall it's a black background it has our name on it and the year we were married and i think it says pumpkin patch or something um so it would fit up there and that's why i i ordered it but I didn't expect something to work. I forgot that I even had this sign. So we'll see. And I will still link that um, picture below because um, if you're interested in getting one, I think it was really reasonable. I wanna say it was under $20, but I'm not for sure. And it depends on what size you, you get. I got a 20 by 16, so I have to watch with the cutout and that what will show. All right, let's get it up there. When I paired the sunflowers with the wicker picnic basket, it was just like, oh my gosh, I just love this. I'll give you a closer view when I'm done.
Okay, we are at the last part of my kitchen that we're gonna do in this video, and that's this island that is two heights. One is for the bar seats, and the other is a prep or serving area. And I kind of like to keep this part free because we use it all the time. Um, so for the decor, I am going to pop this. I bought this last year at Kirkland's. I'm not sure if this is a staple they keep around all the time or not. Um, and then the inside is uh, also, it's like the stone on the bottom. So I'm gonna put this right here. Oh, it's a little heavy. Here we go. Oh, I'm gonna tilt it a little off center. And I remember, uh, same day, I bought this at Kirkland's. Um, I had also bought a, uh, it looked like a dough bowl, but it was really meant to be used for salad. It was a salad bowl, and I have that right now with some balls in it, uh, green mossy balls. And I think it's going to end up in our lower level area. But last year, I bought this because it's just a plain piece here, and I just plopped it right in there, and it was so pretty. But this year, I plopped it in the round, and I thought, I love this. I love the idea of putting something that's overflowing like that. And that's all I'm going to do on this island. So I'm gonna give you an overview of everything. And then the next time I show you the kitchen, hopefully I'll have the other three displays done. And then I believe I have 19 upper windows that are lighted. And now I, it's, it's hit or miss if I'm gonna get that done or not this year. But we'll, uh, we'll work on at least putting up some white metal plates in there that will at least give it a consistency. Thanks for joining me, you guys. I am currently on vacation and forgot to put my goodbye in. So I'm putting it in here along with my pictures. I think I will take Monday off because it's a holiday and I will see you on Tuesday. So if you wouldn't mind giving me a like, I'd so appreciate it. If you're new, thank you for visiting. I hope you'll subscribe. And for all of my subscribers, commenters, and viewers, thank you always for supporting my channel. Links are below, and I appreciate it when you shop my links. It helps support my channel. You guys have a wonderful holiday weekend. I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.